Welcome. My name is Isabou Iqbal, and I'm an educational developer at the Center for Teaching, Learning, and Technology at the University of British Columbia. This video outlines to things to think about to help ensure a successful classroom observation of teaching. It's for anyone who's new to doing formative peer reviews of teaching, or anyone who might need a reminder on what to do. This video assumes that the reviewer and the reviewee had a pre-observation meeting during which they discussed the reviewee's goals for the peer review of teaching process. I find it helpful to look over those notes before I go into the classroom observation because I may have forgotten them if the meeting was two weeks ahead of time. Also, if the reviewee has sent any materials to the reviewer, such as their teaching philosophy statement or syllabi or assignments, then the reviewer would benefit from reading those before the classroom observation. As a reviewer, you're going to want to have something to take notes on, whether that's a pen and paper or your laptop computer. Make sure that you take notes during the classroom observation of teaching. If possible, arrive early and greet the instructor. Make sure that you sit at the spot where the instructor asked you to sit and that was predetermined at the pre-observation meeting. When you're doing the classroom observation, keep the instructor's goals forefront in your mind. At the end, if possible, touch base with the instructor and give them a few positive words because I'm sure they'll appreciate it. and by email, you'll want to reconfirm the date and time of the post-observation meeting. Share a few positive words about what you saw happen during the classroom observation. And invite the reviewee to reflect on what they noticed happened during that classroom teaching experience that you observed. Let the reviewee know whether they should expect any documentation ahead of the post-observation meeting or whether you will be bringing that to the post-observation meeting. And because the reviewee may not necessarily know what's going to happen at the post-observation meeting, I normally let them know that I'm going to be inviting them to reflect out loud on the classroom teaching experience. And then I'll be sharing my own feedback with respect to their goals for the peer review of teaching process as a whole. Thank you for watching this video. Please be in touch with questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm.